Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this super quick tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can add custom CSS to your Squarespace website. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can get right to it. A quick heads up, this tutorial is specific for version 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace, and just a friendly reminder, CSS changes the way a website looks, not the way it works. You can't break your site by adding custom CSS because all it's changing is the style of how things are displayed. So here are the three ways we can install CSS in Squarespace. We have site-wide CSS, that's perfect for global changes like custom fonts and button hover effects, and also if you're using a personal subscription plan. We also have page header code injection. That's good for changes to a single page or a collection, like making a landing page. A business and commerce plan is required for that option. And then our third option is a code block, and that's to make changes for individual collection pages like a blog post. It's also the only way you can change individual pages if you're on a personal plan. So let's start with the first one, site-wide CSS. From your main menu, select website. Scroll down to the bottom of your pages menu and click on website tools. Your first option here is custom CSS, and this is where you can add CSS that will load on every single page on your website. Again, if you have a personal subscription plan or a business or commerce plan, you can use custom CSS site-wide. Our next option is page header code injection. Let me show you how to access that. From your pages menu, I want you to click on a gear icon next to an individual page. This is going to open up the page settings menu. Select Advanced, and here you can add page header code injection. A word of caution, we can have multiple types of code inside the page header, so you need to start your code with the word style between brackets like this. Then you add your custom CSS here, and there you go. That's how you can load CSS on the individual page. This code will only load when this page header loads, so this is specific for an individual page. Now we'll go ahead and select can because I want to show you how to do this on a collection page as well. It's a little bit different. Hopping into a collection page like a blog, portfolio, store, event, or video, you'll need to click on that gear icon again and select advanced. Here, you'll find different options. We have page header code injection for this event list, but for this blog, for example, when we click on advanced, we have page header code injection and post blog item code injection. If you want CSS to be applied to the individual blog post, select this last option here. Otherwise, select page header code injection and the code will apply to just that list of blog posts. All right, we'll select close there and take a look at a portfolio. Selecting advanced here, we have standard page header code injection. Again, you'll wanna paste your code between style brackets. And then let's go ahead and discard changes there and take a look at the store, clicking on that gear icon. Selecting advanced, we have page header code injection. Click here and paste your code again between those style brackets. Now I did say that we've got three ways to install code. We'll go ahead and discard those changes there. That was the second one, page header code injection, perfect for a single page or collection. Now let's talk about a code block. You'd only want to do this if you're changing one page inside a collection or if you have a personal plan. Let's go ahead and click into this blog post right here. I'll click on this blog post and then I'll select edit and here, I click the plus icon and type in the word code to add a code block. Just like the page header, you can have multiple types of code here. You'll see it's already set for HTML. I'm going to paste our custom CSS and that's between style brackets. Now this block is only going to load on this specific page because that's the only place that it exists. A word of caution here, if you do add your custom CSS to an individual block, it might take a second to load your style change because this block of content is loading with all of the other content on this blog post. We'll go ahead and select save and exit, head back to our pages menu and go back to our tutorial page. And one last time, how do we get to all of these options? Starting with site-wide CSS. From your main page, I want you to select website, Scroll down to the bottom, select Website Tools, and then select Custom CSS. Code injection is for the header and footer of your site, and that's where you're going to want to put other things like tracking codes for Google Analytics or social media platforms. Custom CSS is where we add code that's going to change the style. For page header code injection, heading back to your Pages menu, I want you to click on the gear icon for a collection or an individual page and select Advanced. Now, if you're using a blog and you want to add changes to blog posts, select post blog item code injection. Otherwise, page header code injection will be your main option. Let me show you that on an individual page, clicking that gear icon, select advanced. 
We'll paste our code right here. Don't forget those style brackets. We'll select cancel and discard. And on the standard page, I'll go ahead and scroll down. Let's add a code block, our last option here. We'll select edit. And here inside this page, I'm going to add a block. I'm going to say code and there we go. I'll paste my CSS here by double clicking and adding the code. And again, make sure it's between these style brackets so the browser knows this is custom CSS. However you've added code to your site, make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this super quick tutorial. Check the links in the description below to learn more about customizing your website with code. I've got a free training that I know you're going to love available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.